Hey designers, so I touched on this in another video and showed you a little bit about this, but I was going to just go over it on how you can use Creative Cloud Libraries to help you with your workflow with using these assets for your brushes. So I have got one of my wet paint palettes, which is the only actual Photoshop file that you get with this product. And what I'm going to do is with my Libraries panel open here, if you don't see it, go to Windows and go to Libraries, and then you'll see your Creative Cloud Libraries. I am going to click New Library from Document, and I'm going to click this, and I'm going to load all my colors to start off with. So I'm going to create a new library, and what that's going to do, it's going to create a new library with all of the brushes or all of the solid colors already loaded up. So we've got a great start. And this is just going to help you with your workflow. So you've got your colors all here, visual really easy to um, keep track of. And now I'm going to take that wet paint palette layer and put it out, drag it over here. So that's going to import that as a graphics. So also I have this for future reference if I'm ever working on another document and I don't have this um, PSD file open. Well, I've got this whole creative color kit right here in my libraries. And to take it to the next level, I'm going to go to the inspiration board that will be included um, in every package. And this is the inspiration board and you've got some brush strokes at the top, you've got your color palettes, you've got a little um, grid of the different color blends that you have. So this gives you an idea of like, oh hey, I wanna get this effect on number 12, so I'm gonna go over to my wet paint palette number 12 then and, and then grab that color. And then also you've got your impressionist palettes. So I made a little thumbnail of each co impressionist color blend. So you've got that handy in case you kind of are wondering how it's going to look. And then in this case, you had bonus layer styles and you had bonus brushes. So it also shows you um, a little sample. So you've got an overview of your, it's basically a visual style guide for you for this color collection. So what I'm going to do is just drag this over here and now I've got that as a graphics and now I've got all of my things in one central location so that if I want to create a design based on this color collection um, then I've just got it all here handy in the Creative Cloud libraries and it's also there if I want to work across um, different computers or what have you so that just makes it really handy and I've just got so every collection I can just load it into its own library and reference it any time that I want and pull it up and I don't even have to look for the files on my computer. So um, it's just a really great way to work smarter and not harder with the Creative Cloud um, libraries in Photoshop.